All right, so now we're gonna talk about the clinical, clinical manifestations of ARDS. And this can be broken down into two phases. So the first phase is considered the acute phase. And this is when you're gonna note that the patient is gonna have a rapid onset of severe uh, dyspnea or difficulty breathing. So this difficulty breathing usually occurs within 72 hours of the precipitating event or the acute lung injury. However, according to current definitions of ARDS, this can actually happen up to seven days after the acute lung injury. And again, they're working on a new uh, definition, so that might change. One characteristic finding, again, is that the patient will not respond to supplemental oxygen. No matter how high you have that O2, it's not going to increase um, arterial oxygenation. Now, this then progresses and severe hypoxemia is noted. The patient is going to have increased alveolar dead space. This is when the alveoli are getting oxygen, but they're still poor perfusion or a VQ mismatch, okay? Um, because of this, you're gonna see venous admixture. That means that deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood are mixing, and overall, the patient just is not, is not perfusing, perfusing as well because there's not as much oxygen in the blood that there should be because some of it is bypassing the lungs altogether, okay? Um, the patient is also going to present with decreased pulmonary compliance. This is when the lungs are stiff and they can't expand properly, okay? They can't expand properly to ventilate. Lung edema, inflammation, and alveolar hemorrhage are also noted. Now, these are the symptoms of the acute phase. If the patient goes to recovery phase, which we really hope they do, this is what you'll see. The patient is considered to be recovering when the hypoxemia resolves and the chest x-ray improves. Remember, they have that bilateral infiltrate, right? This happens gradually as the patient is treated. Lung compliance also decreases in this stage. So those are for the patients that survive ARDS. Unfortunately, like we mentioned before, it is associated with a high mortality rate.